Greetings ladies and gentlemen, my name is Anna520 and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode we made our way to Gerudo Town and we got inside the Gerudo like bunker and it has been revealed that we're allowed in these places because of uh, exigent circumstances. However, when we met with Lady Riju, we were also then informed that there is a swarm of Gibdo threatening Karakara Bazaar. So now we're off to go deal with that small issue. Loose sand mounds. A gust of wind can easily disperse these piled up mounds of sand. Yep. All right. What is the situation? Okay, here we go. Cutscene? Or game state? Don't let any more Gibdo get close. Ugh, if help doesn't arrive soon. Sorry to keep everyone waiting, but I'm here now and we're going to wipe all the Gibdos out at once. Follow me. Link, don't let me down. These monsters stand no chance. Where are the rest of them? They're coming out of the mushroom! Where? Some more Gibdo seem to be coming from there. We need to destroy that somehow, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. There. Get rid of that stupid mushroom thing. Bulyara, well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. Is that Zelda? What? Uh. That's bad. Real bad. The Rudo town is in danger. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link, we're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. Uh, 
Alrighty. Well, that was fun. All's well, shroud aside. Stupid mushroom. Hey. This is the last one. Oh! Yes, I will hey. gladly buy this. Thank you. Here's a secret. The headband you just bought is only one part of the Desert Vose series. There's also a spaldering trousers, but you have to go to a special place to get them. Have you heard of the store Fashion Passion in Gerudo Town? Well, the secret shop is located behind that store. Oh, now that I think about it, Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Forget I said anything. Yeah, well, I'm putting my hat on. I'm putting my hat on so I can do stuff. These bones are still out here. Stop. It's a good thing I can collect these. I'm sure these will become useful whenever I need a quick, hard-hitting weapon. Stick them on the end of a stick or something. Gibdo guts! The dried guts of a defeated Gibdo. It said they're effective vitality rich ingredients that are useful in elixirs. Huh. Interesting. Well then, let's warp back to Gerudo Town. Excuse me, can I warp back to Gerudo Town? Thank you. Tulin's Gusts. Hmm. Lava and water. Hmm. Stealth tip. Another cutscene? Nope. There's another mushroom! Did you stick a fire fruit on the end of your spear? That's not gonna be very useful. I'm gonna pop in one shot. Oh, there you are. What am I doing? Look, Link. There's a Gibdo hive, just like the one that appeared near Karakar Bazaar. Mm. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time too. But that's not the only hot. There's not. It's not only the one hive. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and they're merely impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. So when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Uh. Huh? Again, you heard it, didn't you? Come. Is it calling out to us? Mm -hmm. Lady Riju, Link, is something the matter? I thought it's nothing. <laughs> Link, for now we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. What happened to the Thunder Helm? How many arrows do I have? Six. <laughs> nice! The sand shroud, the sudden appearance of the Gibdos in their hives. Strange events keep happening one after another. And we saw Zelda in your character Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere around Gerudo Town. There's something bigger going on, but for now we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. Speak with Valier and the soldiers and help us organize our defenses. Oh. Do you have any questions about the rain? What's the plan? Oh. 
Talk to Captain Teak in the yard. Work with her to decide how best to deploy our forces. Pata is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We can reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you if you need anything, you should talk to her. If you have any questions about tell me about the enemy. The good we've encountered in the desert do not easily fall when struck. Attacks only seem to dull a blade. But fire attacks as well as Lady Riju's lightning appear to be very effective against them. Rather than relying on the brute force of swords and spears, we should try to explore other ways to damage them. In any case, we learned in the last fight that they are not unbeatable. That is enough to give us hope. All right. That explains why they had a fire fruit stuck to the tip of their spear. Ah. Hives of monsters have appeared outside the town walls. It won't be long before we'll need to deal with this threat. How, many, how should we deploy our forces? Who should we send and where? We could spread them out to lightly cover all the gates or maybe concentrate, maybe a concentrated force to protect a weakened position. Whoa. We need to decide to... We need to decide who to send where. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Uh. What? Why did this suddenly turn into a RTS? What is this nonsense? Whoa. Spear troops. North gate. Ah. Understood. Uh, sword troops. Oh. Westgate. Oh. Oh. And then I guess I'll send the cannoneer to the the oh. the, 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 uh, the Westgate. Ah. Uh. Oh. I put two in the same uh. place. Uh, sword troops. Oh. Go to the east gate. Oh. There we go. So I'll deal with the west gate first, I guess. Why is this suddenly an RTS? What is this? I, I get you're trying to di try different things, Nintendo, but what is this? Hmm, barricade building. I've been gathering materials that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I'm confident that I can build a barricade at any of the gates. Would that help you? Uh, there are three gates in the palace. The west, north gate is ahead. The west gate is left. Uh, west gate. Because that's where the cannon is. Okay. What do you got over here? What is this thing? Oh, that's a mirror. Mirror. There's a stake. A flame emitter. Mighty melons. Mighty bananas. Uh, these goodies. Sure. What are these? I definitely need these arrows. Alright, let's get some pictures too while we're here. Uh, Gerudo bow. Rudo Claymore. The Rudo Spear. Come on. Focus on the spear. Focus on the spear, not the Claymore. Gerudo Spear. Gerudo Shield. And a Gerudo Scimitar. Ooh, and chests. What are in these chests? A silver rupee. Electric Zalfos horn. And Topaz. 
Okay. Let me get out this. Let me find the thing first. Drop one of these. There we go. That should be interesting. They are... Preparations are complete. Now it's time to deal with these idiots. <laughs> Wink. I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but... Hmm? Yeah. Situation report. Large number of Gibdos are moving to attack the town. For anything else, we need to deal with this. That's a lot of Gibdo. That is a lot of Gibdo. <laughs> Liliara, they have the town surrounded. <laughs> Stay strong. This threat is also an opportunity. Fight well and we can wipe them out in one battle. Hives and all. Yeah. Prepare yourselves for battle. Let's show them the true power of the Gerudo. Ooh. Everyone, protect our chief. Protect our town. All right. Uh, I need west. West is this way. Enemies have emerged from the hive at the east gate. Stop them. East, east, east is east is this way. East. Excuse me. Pardon me. Enemy flying enemies from the West Gate Hive. Time for a lightning strike or two. Oh, those idiots. This is where the cannon is. Oh, they broke through. The enemies won't stop coming until we wipe out all the hive. What the? Moth Gibdo. Moth Gibdo. Get out of there. You get my tick. The enemies won't stop coming until we wipe out all the high. That's the last of the high. All we have to do now is clear out the rest of the Gibdo. Why am I talking? No, stop. Get out of here. Riju is under attack. Uh, run. Why is Riju under attack? Are they, are they gone? They're gone. Yay, we win. <laughs> oh? 
Plink, I'm incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. I expect the Gibdo threat will come down now a bit. Calm down a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. Mm. I noticed that the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand. Or maybe, maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? Mm. Hmm. And then there's the voice that you and I both heard. Voice and lightning. This reminds me of something. Hmm. Link, there's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Okay. Running around. Not at the speed of sound, but, you know. Open the door! Hey, open the door. Ooh. You fought well against the Gibdos. I'm glad you're alright. Would have been unacceptable for an important guest of Lady Riju, even a Vaux, to be injured. We pass through here, get some rest, and recover after such a fierce battle. Mural. 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 What is what is mural? Hmm. Red pillars and light. Oh, Link, you came. Got <clears throat> Look at the mural on this wall. It's thought to have been painted by the an by ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also using this shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of the distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Anyway, the writing on the mural says, mm. Standing back to back with the throne, witness three red pillars across a vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice come to me, I await you. Mm. That mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words remind me of this mural. This image must represent a location of some kind, and the engraved words are a riddle to discovering its location. It's the only explanation that makes sense. So it has to do with the throne. What are you doing? Ma'am? I heard you took part in the effort to... Son of a gun. I hear you took part in the effort to repel those Gibdo things that were attacking this town, Sarkso. But it's not over yet, is it? Uh -huh. There's been talk of the new training regimen getting started one again once the Sand Shroud clears up. I need to come up with something to help revitalize our noble guards. Training regimen? Yeah. I've only heard about it secondhand, but the guards have been training hard to improve their desert mobility. You see, some time ago, right when Lady Riju had become chief, Gerudo Town faced a major crisis. After it was resolved, Lady Riju swore that our military forces would be prepared to face any new threats that came along. Probably talking about the theft of the Thunderhelm. Unfortunately, that was a tougher task than anyone thought. Luckily, Lady Riju's close friend Princess Zelda came to visit. The princess suggested that the Gerudo learn to be more in touch with the desert itself. This inspired Lady Riju, and she proposed a new tra training regimen. At least that's what I heard. Uh -huh. If you want, you can go ch chat with Sudri. She should be up at the barracks, I believe. Hmm. Blocko, let me out. Uh. You, your skills are very impressive. That must be why our chief accepted you. She knew you how helpful you'd be. She may still be young, but our chief is extraordinary, isn't she? Okay. So. Coming out here, I can gather some of these bones. There's a, <laughs> there's a Korok frond, frond because the tree got chopped down. Uh. Give me this wood. Me that wood. Okay. My axe broke. Oh, there's some bones over here, too. Okay. So, back to back with the throne. I wonder. Hmm. Get some 
volt fruit. There's a thing out here in the desert. I could see it. What are these? Shock fruit. Shock fruit. Alright, let's deal with these idiots. such a weird noise when they collapse. This thing. doesn't. There's a light out in the desert. Let me get above this stupid thing so I can see. Still gotta go get that at some point. So the light shines out there. What is that? It's a bird. There's another one over there. And that's a shrine. Get blown out this way real quick. Use this updraft real quick. Real fast. Get out and above. Blow myself out here. Another updraft. Oh, there's a shrine. What is that? There's also a thing up here. Is that another one? No. Somewhere out here is another pillar. And I can't see it right now. this jump. I have to build something here? Is that what this is? Well, first of all, what are these things, anyway? They're 
They're floating platforms. somewhere I wonder if I'm supposed to follow that beam of light does this rotate the um what does this do this does. It rotates. It actually rotates the entire roof. Okay. Whoop! Wait a minute. We're out of time. Uh, what's going on here? Oh boy. Uh, bad things. Bad things are happening here. Let's get out of here. We're going over time. All right. We're back where we need to be. Um. So next time on The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, probably going to head back to that mirror. And before we do the mirror stuff, though, we'll probably head up into the mountains and try to get the, uh, the, uh, the, the dragon steer. Till then, this is Xana520, signing out. <laughs>